Hey there folks, uh, got something in the mail today. Uh, this is something I pre-ordered and I'm sure a lot of you have pre-ordered it. And it's on its way. Uh, there's already been a couple of videos on it. Um, it's going to be the Benchmade uh, Axis uh, Flipper. Let's, uh, let's check it out. Let's open it. <clears throat> All right. So I wanted to open it up in front of you folks because I want you to see that uh, right out of the box. I want to see how uh, it performs um, without being tweaked. Um, so you see right there, it's the 300 SN ball axis flipper designed by Butch Ball. Let's take a look at it. Bench made, nice packaging, ah, really nice. Blue styrofoam in there. Let's see. Now, there's been a couple of videos on this already. I, they just sent it to me, so uh, I've been waiting months for this, so I can do a review on it. Let's get this out of the way. I want to do a first impressions on it. It's heavier than the Southern. Definitely feels heavier. Um, let's take a look at the G10. Actually, the handle looks better than I expected. Uh, you can't really tell. I hope you could tell in my video, but on the websites that are selling this, I got this from Blade HQ. You couldn't really get a good look at the G10, but um, pretty nice. Oh, uh, nice deep carry clip, tip up. Let's see, is it reversible? Yeah, you can reverse it on the other side. So it's two-way reversible. There's the axis lock right there. Mm. I like the flipper design already. Looks more like that push button. Push button style, similar to the, the Southern and... Um, what have you? What's my other knife? The um, the bodega. What's my other knife? Look at me. But um, all right. Use the tests. Let's see how good this sucker flips. <laughs> I'm nervous because I <laughs> I don't expect it to flip well. Ah, as expected. Hey, you know what? It's not too bad. Not too bad. You got to give it a little more. You, you got to push up on it a little more, and and of course I can't do it now. Yeah. Not too bad. Pleasantly surprised. All right, it'll take some practice. Take some practice. Not quite as easy as the Southern. It doesn't have that punch, you know, like that. You don't necessarily need a. You don't necessarily need a, a wrist flick. Uh, I'm trying to do it push button. And I guess with practice, it'll get much better. Yeah, I'm getting better at it already. But if you do the light switch, it flicks out very smooth. So, oh, I'm happy with it. Not too bad. Not too bad. I expect it to be really a slug. But um, it's actually not too bad. Uh, it just doesn't quite have that authority. Um... Let's bring out the Southern, which is, of course, its main competitor. What a coincidence that these... Yeah, the Southern definitely flips out much better. But, um... You think it's a coincidence that they're both brown G10 and... Came out pretty much similarly at the same time? This came out first, and then this came out right away as a... A pre-order. Um... It doesn't have a detent, of course. It's not a. It's not a liner lock. It's not a frame lock. It doesn't have um. Um, what do you call that? Um. I'm I'm I'm, I'm drawing a blank here. But it doesn't have a detent ball. You know. It's got this axis lock, but um. 
it's got a little uh, play. I mean, it almost feels like there's a detent when you're pushing down on it, but it's really the axis lock pulling on it. Some specs on it, the overall length is uh, 7.15, so it's a little under 7.5 inches. Um, the blade is 3 inches. Uh, the steel is not as good as the Southern, it's 154 cm. Oh, but again, this is only $107, where the Southern, I think I bought, I bought it for $239, I believe. So this is only $107, and it's a Benchmade, so you know that they make quality knives, so... For 107 bucks, I think it's a steal. It's a steal. Um, again, I said it's a butch ball design. Um, no titanium at all on this. This is all steel. Um, it's got steel uh, liners that are heavy, heavy skeletonized. I don't know if you guys can see it. You guys can see the skeletonized. See the holes in the liner? I don't know if you can see it on the bottom. Bottom two. <clears throat> it feels thicker. It feels thicker than the Southern. Yeah, it is a little bit thicker. It's a size comparison. Blades uh, drop point style. It's a nice draw. Let's get a close up on the blade. So it's 154 cm. Nice swedge up top. Here's the Benchmade logo. Uh, dual thumb studs. And there's the G10 again. Um, you know, Benchmade always puts quality products. So uh, I like the way this, uh, you know, when I did the Southern, you know, I criticized it because it didn't match up quite the same as the other side. This one's, you can see it's perfectly machined perfect. The G10. Is exact with the other side, the opposite side. So I'm happy with that. And yeah, this is what I was talking about with the Southern. I'm sure they'll. I mean, again, it's a small thing for a great knife, but I'm sure Spider Co. When they come up with a next gen for this one, I'm sure they'll address this and make sure it matches up with the titanium side. But Benchmade got that right, right off the bat. Uh, it's got these uh, standoffs and a nice flow through design. Again, uh, you know, it's $107, so you can see that the standoffs, uh, nothing special. Uh, just a couple of tubes there. So compared to the, uh, um, the Spyderco Southern, right? Beautiful standoffs, you know? Similar to the uh, Hinderer and other more expensive knives so yeah very basic here um, I didn't think I'd like the G10 that much but uh, actually I actually like it it's not not too bad I'm sure they'll come up with different colors different designs uh, probably more intricate hmm sure a couple of guys uh, a couple of uh, pimpers out there already thinking of what they can do with this if my friend Nick from Menevade was still pimping stuff I'm sure I'm sure I'll come up with something with this it looks pretty simple um, very smooth action with typical bench made and, and, and similar axis locks like the spider coats you know smooth action Yeah, it's not not too bad, folks. Not too bad. Not too bad. For $107, not too bad at all. So let's see if I can do it without a wrist flick and without the light switch. See if I can uh, put it, push it down. Yeah. Uh, so this is right out of the box. You can see it's heavily oiled. See so many oil in there. Pretty pleased with it. Um, so it's funny how they come up. Now, I, I don't know if these guys are competing with each other. I'm sure they are, but it's just funny how they come out at the same time. I just saw a really good movie last night, Zero Dark Thirty. But like a couple of weeks before that, um, a movie came out on Netflix called um, 
uh, SEAL Team 6, The Hunt for Bin, La Bin Laden, something like that. And uh, it's funny because they're about basically the same mission. And, um, and it's similar to this. They come out around the same time. SEAL Team 6 came out before Zero Dark Thirty. But I like both of them. And I know I'm getting off on a tangent over here, not talking about the knives. But uh, maybe I, you know, I like to compare my knives to cars and to sharks and what else. If I had to compare, this would be... This would be the Zero Dark Thirty, and this would be the uh, SEAL Team 6 out on Netflix. Both good movies, just like these are both good knives, but um, the Zero Dark Thirty, if you guys have seen it yet, is definitely more well-produced, uh, better director, but uh, both have their own qualities, you know, and their own um, good things about them. Yeah, I'm really digging this. I'm getting into it. It's, of course, so it's getting there. But um, yeah, I've really grown to like this Southern. I've really grown to appreciate, especially in comparison with uh, a flipper like this. Yeah, it's it's okay. It's not bad. See it? No wrist flick. Not bad. Getting better with it. Getting better with it. Just a, a little. Push. <laughs> but um yeah all right folks that that's it uh hope you have a good day uh i'll talk to you soon peace